and City Light does it again. Looks, folks. <laughs> I'm rest. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Once again, we're doing another modification to uh, City Lights Riker. And for our daughter, we want some armrest, uh, but no one makes any armrest for their rear passenger on the Riker. So of course, we're gonna make our own. So we found these armrests at Lowe's.com. They are $60. Now they are for a lawnmower. So the brackets on the back, you know, are not for the Riker, they're for a lawnmower. But we're gonna modify these bad boys here and see if we can make something to fit on the bike. Maybe I'll cut this. Maybe I'll remove it all together and make a new bracket. Who knows? Let's see, but here's the before of the armrest. Pretty nice, soft leather top here. And I'm gonna modify these and make some armrests for her passenger on the Riker. So let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna go back out here to the mega shed and fabricate some new arms for those hand rests. Let's get in here and make something for City Light and her Riker. And uh, I think I need to clean my shed. A little dirty out here. Okay, we're back here in the shop. Uh, to make these new brackets for the armrests, I think what I will do is this. I'm gonna take this flat steel, the flat welded steel from Lowe's. It's our quarter inch thick. This is three feet long here. I'm gonna cut in half about 18 inches here, and then I will uh, drill new holes in uh, each end of the pieces to attach to the Riker using the existing uh, mountain bracket for the saddlebags. Step one done. All right, I've got them cut in half as you can see here. They're both about 18 inches long. So now I have to go to the armrest themselves and take off the old bracket there, I believe, and uh, fabricate the same angle to fit and get the length exact. So let's go do that right now. Okay, we're back. And what I've done is here's one armrest complete. But the other one, I took it apart, removed the bolt, these two spacers here, and the nut, and nut here. And this is the old bracket, which we're gonna disregard that. And with my new arms I just cut in the shed, I'm gonna attach it right here. And all I have to do is mimic this angle. So the arms will still fold up and down. So back to the shed, I'm gonna trace this angle out here on the metal. I'll cut that out. I'll attach the new bracket with the bolts. And we should have an arm that works on the Riker. So let's go ahead and take off that one too. Or head back to the shed. Okay, so now we have the uh, original bracket from the armrest from Lowe's. And we have our quarter inch um, flat metal here. Now all I did here was take this put it on top and I want to just trace this curve right here this curve you can see it's a curve to it trace that out and cut away that little tip there on the sheet metal to mimic that and that helps the uh, armrest open and shut so I'll do that for both of the pieces of metal and then we'll get it done so let's go ahead and mock it up and get to going <laughs> Pretty good cut there, I do believe. Let's see how it stacks up. Oh, pretty good. All right, we got all the metal cut. Now, I got on the drill press here. I'm gonna go ahead and drill a hole through both pieces of metal, and that hole there will mimic 
the hole that was here in the bracket. So the bracket before sat like this and the seat was set on top of it like that. It'll pivot like this. So this hole is gonna become these holes here. So we're gonna drill it up, got it clamped down here. Let's go ahead and drill that. And there we have it. Nice holes lined up with both of them. Let's pop them off here and see how they look. Yep, two holes, theoretically. The same, let's get it here. Oh yeah. And we'll go ahead and deburr those. Get them smooth, and we'll do a mock-up here to see how they fit. Wow, look at that mess. All right, here we go. All right, so here is the uh, bracket attached. And again, what I did was I took the bracket that I just cut and made the angle. I put it down, and I put it back into, I put it back in here. Added the bolts and the spacers, and you get this. So that's how the bottom looks. And that way on the bike, it'll sit like this, and then when you want to, you can raise it up. Of course, I will tighten those down, but for now, in the down spot, it'd be like this, and up on off the bike, it'd be like that. So I think it works pretty good. We're gonna put it on the bike now and give her a test out, see how it fits. Let's go see how it looks. We modified some armrests for my daughter um, on my 2020 Can-Am Riker 900. And um, C and I came up with the idea and he did all the, the work and everything. Um, but look at this. So if you have the saddlebags that came from Sling Mods, or I guess if you have a saddlebag set with this type of frame structure, you too can modify some armrest for your um Riker. It's gonna help her when we go on long rides and I want her to feel comfortable and a little more secure and safe. Um so I think C did an excellent job. You know we had the idea and he did all the fabrication. This, uh, it was just flat steel here. I painted matte black flat steel and I bolted it. Uh, this goes through the frame of this my cup holder and a second bolt down here. That's all it was, real simple. And on the back side, a little more tricky. I'll show you over here. On the back side, since I did not have a cup holder, I had to make this piece of metal right here. This back piece of metal, I had a little angle, I had to cut this and mount this. So this flat metal will have something to bolt to. And again, the other end is bolted into the frame. So, what's up again? Flat metal at Lowe's, this is like four or five bucks I think it was, I couldn't have, painted and mounted it. These, are, these bolts came with the armrest, so I had to put a hole here, here, and here, and that was it. Bolted it down, um, real simple. The bolts I used here were 3 16th bolts and they were uh, one inch long. I painted them black, real simple. Real sturdy, can't beat it. Love it, I absolutely love it. You've seen the video, you saw how it was fabricated, and if there's something you would like to do for your Riker if you have a passenger, I say go for it. There's nothing, nothing wrong with trying. And again, let's just say I'll, all out of pocket, maybe 75 bucks total, maybe. and that's pushing it, because this metal right here from Lowe's is very inexpensive. Yeah. Again, these were $60. Um, lawnmower armrest. Um, the bolts cost three dollars. <laughs> bolts three dollars. So, and that sixty-three dollars included tax. So this is just a whole lot better than, you know, 
Well, they don't make anything for the Rikers, so. And 100% plug and play because yep. that boat comes off, that boat comes off, the whole thing comes off. Yeah, so in, if I don't. In one minute. If When I don't want to have this look, like if she's not riding with me, then I'm, I would take it off. And, and mostly we're going to use this for when we travel. We go long distances, so she'll be comfortable on those long distances. Yeah. But if it's a run up the street for like, you know, 20 minutes, there's no need to really have it up there. Again, this is for long trips for us. And I'll show you what it looks like once I put the saddlebags back on. I'm going to just do some cleaning up and get some of this uh, mud. <laughs> mud puddle, <laughs> mud off. <laughs> so, all right, stay tuned. All right, I've, I've put the bags back on and C has hooked up the connectors for me. Um, so this is the final look with the armrest there. And we go around the whole motorcycle. Look at that, look at that. How pretty, look at those colors. Get up close with the armrests, and they do come up if I didn't show you before. So she can get out just fine when we stop somewhere. Now, I like to say I'm done modding, but we all know the truth. If you own a Riker, you know you're never done. <laughs> I actually got one more thing coming, so. That'll be a surprise, but that'll be later on in the year. So stay tuned for that little mod, which is supposed to be an extremely easy mod. But I love it, and I'm looking forward to going on some big trips this year. And of course, I'll do some, um, we'll do a test drive with the daughter locally to see how she feels with this new mod. Another DIY by CD Light.